New at six, scientists at Stanford University have found new ways to explore the world's oceans. KPI X5's Don Ford with more on their creation that seems right out of a Hollywood movie. In nearly six years of research, scientists say they've been able to turn the common jellyfish into a cyborg. But why? Part animal, part machine. Bioengineering scientist Nicole Shu is one of two scientists working on the project. I create bionic jellyfish by integrating microelectronics into these animals, which are moon jellyfish. And the idea is moon jellyfish are incredibly energy efficient creatures. So if we incorporate them with a robotic system, then we can take advantage of uh, these natural animals to create a low power robot. The device delivers a tiny nanovolt charge to the jellyfish, stimulating it to swim three times faster than normal. The jellyfish has no brain, no central nervous system, and no pain receptors. So Shu says the jellyfish doesn't feel a thing. But why? Well, in the future, when we incorporate more maneuverability into the animals, as well as adding different sensors, like measuring pH or temperature, or even sampling different parts of the water, um, we can send these animals out into more environmentally sensitive areas of the ocean. Translation, they hope to strap on sensors and let the jellyfish go get data in areas we haven't been to yet. Right now, they can only make them go or stop, still working on direction. How deep can these guys go? A couple thousand feet, feet at really? least. Yeah, yeah. It, it really depends. They're, they're again, mm. pretty ubiquitous. So you could find them in a variety of depths, including deep trenches. Caltech sponsors the work, but Stanford supplies the labs. At Stanford University, Don Ford, KPIX5.